Hello and welcome back to this Let's Play of Amnesia. Uh, last time I didn't crap myself. Maybe this time I will, who knows. Ooh, strange noises already. Uh, am I still following this liquid? I actually, where am I? Oh. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... what did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Right, uh... is this blood? Or... I don't know. Um... I guess I have to go down here. Fabrica elicitopapadaba. Ooh. What's this? Ooh, journal, journal, journal. Mementos. Some sort of organic tissue blocks a path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Is that a hint? It's tough and pliant and can't be torn by hand over there. Torch, aid me! What's, what does it say again? It can, can it be dissolved? Notes, Daniel's note to self, diaries, no diaries. Dissolved, hey? So, I need something that dissolves. Any bleach? Does bleach dissolve? I'm, I'm stupid, I don't know. Uh, I'm tempted to look see what's down here. It doesn't look like anything is. Oh, more worm things. Ah, oil. Go away. Oil. That's good. Wasn't a complete waste of time. Nothing here. I'm going to try down here first. Jump. Laboratorium. Didi, get out of my laboratory! That was not meant to be an impression, I was just quoting it, so shut up before you say anything. He fell to the kitchen floor, tears of the Well, fuzzy, blurry screen. This wall appears to be broken. Ooh, is that some oil? What was that? <laughs> no. I'm going insane very quick. Am I going to move my fascination of brooms to bells? I'm talking to myself too. This isn't really happening! Chest. Tinder. More Tinder. Oh, that one doesn't open. Oh, I've got lights here. The fuck was that? Should be more Kubrat. Let me see. Let me see. And one part Aqua Force. Aqua Fortis. Oh, more oil. Brilliant. Another note. Ah, uh, I have to read it. The lack of a Jimmy Twenty Minutes. Here's my message. Storage. I'll read it out loud. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes of my most recent experience has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients and storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Oh, was that my hint? Wine cellar. Okay, let's go to the wine cellar. I've checked this area out. I 
nothing here. Oh, another note. What was that? Chemistry pot. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sent on close. Calamine and orpiment are given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I attempt aqua regio instead of aqua fortis, in hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid. Ah! And proves impractical to put any use as a detergent. No, it's going to teach you especially violently a solution. And yeah, I've got my hint. So. Ah. Tinder. No. No. Go away, chair. You are in my way. What's this? One day I'll return. If it wasn't for the fault of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Okay, what? Alright, let's get out of here. So, journal, mementos. Uh, chemical goods have been moved from the lab to the wine cellar, so I'm getting tissue. Evidence and originals before chemical. Chemicals, wine cellar. Got the gist. Let's go. So, when does the scary stuff happen other than things just going bare? Oh, my screen's going fuzzy again. Ah. Hide in the light. Run to the door! Go! Travelling to Dover meant going through the sand between Canterbury. Hey, that's my name! You made sure to play a visit to avoid the sense of guilt. No one cares. So, where's the. Oh, what was that? That made me jump slightly. I'm out of oil. Uh, huh? Fuel. Did that? Aha! That will do for now. Is this door open? It won't budge. Blocked up. Lab tabularium. Archives. I don't need to go there. I'm just going to make my jump, jump, jump way over to the white cellar then, I guess. Which was over here. Can I sprint forever? Is it? Mm. Wine cellar. Without a key. Oh, dang it! I'll try the other way then. Where do I get the key? Run, Daniel! Run! What is that noise to my side? Archives. So I need the key to get to the wine cellar, and the wine cellar to get the chemicals, and the chemicals in the laboratory to make the acid to open the other door. God, it's one long list of objectives. Right. I hear voices. Another note. 16th of May. 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. 
No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Something about an expedition? I, I don't know, I kind of turned off. Uh, what's in here? Give me timber. Pretty certain I can hear something moving. Okay, not liking this. Is this still open? Hello? Oh, I'm going insane again. There we go. Whew. Anything in here? Nope. Chair, be gone! Hey, skill! Uh, no. No. Yes! Oh, another note. Uh, hereby offer my first attention to the band of Venomer. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Seal. Sail? Seal. What did I say sail? Right. Another one here. There's one room there. I want to see what's down there, but I'm too scared to go. What the hell made that noise? Uh, this game is making creepy noises now. Shirts. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Anything here? No. Yes. No. Not there. Another note. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Oh no. Right, uh, probably going to call it a day there. Because we're coming up to the 15 minute mark. I'll make more parts tomorrow. Until then, see you later. Thanks for watching.